Well, good morning, my friends. Beautiful day today to make uh, a planner painting. I've been a while since I uh, did the last one. So, I'm right now on my way to, to have fun painting. Uh, so, let's see what happens. Hopefully, I, I come out with something good. I'll see you later. So, this corner here. This is the scene that I want to uh, paint. I like the red on the on the house in contrast with the green and the values, uh, the different in values between the shadow and the. So it should be a nice uh, painting. Let, let's see what happens. What is love? 
went to the top of the mountain and see the wise man there. And I asked him why this world we live in is filled with sorrow and care. And he looked me over and up and down. Then he shook his head real slow. He said, "Son, you've come to the wrong man. That's one thing I sure don't know." Well, I stayed up there on the mountain a while to see what I could see, and I looked out over this whole wide world in its awesome majesty. But then my gaze fell down to the city. And the fires and the smoke below, and I shook my head and asked myself, now where did our garden go? Climb to the top of that mountain, and you speak to the wise man there. Once you ask him why this world we live in is filled with sorrow and care, and once he looks you over and shakes his head and tells you that he just don't know, he'll say that's not the important question, my friend. Ask how does my garden grow? Just too busy, and a few of us just don't care. And some are fighting battles so hard they haven't got anything to spare. But if we just put our hands together and set aside our fears, the children of our children's children might thank us in a couple of hundred years. So go to the top of that mountain, see what you can see. If you run to that wise old man up there, please say hello from me. But I won't be going with you, not in this or any year. 'Cause everything you see needs doing up there. Can only be done down So guys, uh, uh, this is the painting. I'm happy with it. I think it's probably one of the 
of the best paintings I have done uh, in plein air. I have been painting in plein air for not that long. Uh, I, every time that I go is a new discovery. And uh, what, I, what I see uh, in plein air painting is that uh, you paint it uh, direct from, from, from the subject. You know, you see uh, so much information, so, mo so much uh, uh, color and uh, and since you have that uh, huge amount of info in, in, in front of, of you uh, at such a big scale, you you like forced to to simplify. And uh, because I see when you got a photo, a photo you put it there in the screen of the computer, and, and you put the cameras on the side, and it's like equal. So somehow it's very difficult not to fail in the temptation to. To go to a, a part of the photo, you zoom that part and try to to create, uh, recreate that uh, in the in the canvas, and that's so wrong. That's so that's that's not the way of painting. And uh, uh, the reason it's wrong is because at the end you you finish or you end being a slave of copying photos. And uh, they create the, 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 the create side of, uh, of us uh, kind of uh, uh, disappear or, or uh, je you know it jeopardize uh, the creative side of us the artists uh, be you know painting from photos. So what I see is that when you go outside and you paint from the from reality, it forces you to paint loose because it's so big that you don't have that. Uh, uh, the chance of resuming uh, an area, you know, getting close to you, and uh, that's that's not real. You know, the what you see is there, and the way you see it there, probably it's gonna be uh, like blurry. It's gonna be no much detail because because it's far away. But in the in the in the photo, what we do, we zoom and we try to copy that. And once you do that, you you're not creating something real. Uh, the real thing is when the way you see in nature, the way you see it uh, at the distance that is that uh, particular part of the scene, the way you see it from your point of view, it is the way you should put it in the canvas and that uh, help you uh, to simplify and, and, and just apply paint in a more brush, in a more uh, loose way. Uh, the good thing is also that the, when you practice uh, a lot in, in plein air, <coughs> then you got uh, you you learn the skill to go to the back to the studio and uh, and apply that knowledge uh, to the photo. You, it help you not to fall in the temptation to to zoom in, in an area and start copying the details uh, because you already got experience of the plein air painting. So I'm gonna keep uh, doing this, uh, and uh, I'm gonna try to keep doing it uh, uh, more every day, every every time, uh, because it's a challenge. You know, get ready to to drive to a location and find a location that is uh, suitable to do uh, this kind of uh, activity. Uh, also, when you are not that confident. Uh, it's tough when you paint in there, and a lot of people come to see what you're doing. Uh, you know, and the mosquitoes and the weather and all that stuff uh, is it's a challenge, but uh, it, it is a challenge uh, worth. I appreciate you guys for uh, watching my videos, and uh, uh, if you have any uh, comment, please uh, leave it the, in the in the description below. Uh, so I know that there is people there that like my 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 videos and uh, uh, encourage me to keep doing this. Uh, the the reason behind uh, all this is uh, so people benefit from the, what I am learning. Uh, the same way I have uh, benefit myself from other artists, uh, other artists making videos. So thank you very much, and uh, I see you in the next video.